All right, so welcome back to some more easy blues harmonica. And today we're going to talk about harmonica positions. I had a really good question from Ed about positions. And it's the questions that I get on my YouTube videos that make this exciting for me. So thank you to everyone that writes in and especially thank you to the people that write in regularly. Yeah. So before the internet, about the only information on blues harmonica was this book here. And interestingly enough, the way that he describes positions um, would technically be wrong these days. So instead of talking about like music theory, I thought I'll just show you how positions work. So usually for harmonica, um, like, you know, for example, myself, I used to use the chart out of the Leo Hosker harmonicas, use that for like at least 20, 30 years. Um, chart that sort of tells you what the key of the song is and then which harmonica to pick if you want to play in first position, second position and third position. So what are the positions? Like, um, easy way is to show us on, let's start with our C harmonica. This is going to be one of the few videos where I use more than just a C harmonica. So C harmonica, major scale, that's sort of what it's designed to do. that sort of sound. So that's what the instrument was designed to play. Now, if I want to play blues on a C harmonica, I, or like a C blues on a C harmonica, I can. Honestly, though, it's very difficult. Let's have a listen. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go through the scale. All sounds good sounds good. There's one note that's weird. That one. I'm going. So, yeah, it's sort of strange. So you can do some things, but very strange sort of sounding. Let's go somewhere where we can do some bends. Much more bluesy. think yeah that sounds cool what's the problem well the problem is it's really hard to do um thanks very much to my teacher jason ricky for teaching me that lick because that's really all i can do for like a blues in first position like um oh except of course like the high-end jimmy reed stuff but you, know, you don't want to do that too often either so you can play on the bottom you can play on the top if you, if you miss out the middle and uh, yeah difficult so why would I want to use look at second position, what I normally play in? So if I use my little chart here, I've got um, up the top, this is a circle of fifths that moves, super cool. Um, Richard Slay makes these, buy some, I did. Um, so playing in the key of C, if I want to play in second position, I use myself an F harmonica, which we have over here, low F. So what's that going to just sound like? Like, let's just play it without like sort of doing anything. Now, 
Now that is a lot easier to play. I also practice that a lot more because, you know, second position is what I play in like basically all the time. Well, at least like 90% of the time I'll play in second position. The other position that I play in is third position. So on our little chart that we had up before, you can see we're still playing blues in C, but this time to play in third position, I'm going to use a B-flat harmonica, which we have here. Alrighty, so let's hear what this sounds like. Also, something that I don't quite play as often. So, they're the three positions, or the two positions that I use. I very rarely play, you know, in first position because of the music that I play. Like, I'm playing blues. I do sit in with other bands and things. And, um, yeah, with something like that, um, you know, first position is very helpful. But, you know, blues is sort of what we're talking about. And yeah, that third position sound and especially second position are really, really cool. Now, let's go back to our C harmonicas because I want to show a few different bits and pieces. Here we go, C. Now, why play, like why use different harps to do that sort of thing? Really, it just comes down to the things you can do and how easy and difficult they are. If I'm playing in first position, so like you know, C in a C harmonica, this sort of thing's very easy, this tongue blocking left hand side of the mouse. Also octave split. You've got the nice full chord. So you've got all those sort of sounds that you can use. But we don't have the nice expressive -y sort of bends that we can get in second position so like this is like you know what makes playing in second position so cool and so fun it's the bend and i'll hold i'll put my hand up for like the notes that are cool so i'll just play a scale so all the breathing notes and especially so we've got bendy expressive notes we've got full chords and the other thing that works out just fortuitously is basically every note on the harmonica when you're playing in second position will still fit into the song so you don't have to worry about missing notes and things so much okay cool so why would i then play in third position if second position is so awesome well basically it gives me a few different tricks in second position i can get this nice chord sound but I can't get like the octave split sound. Whereas if I'm playing in third position, that root note chord is gives me that nice octave split sound. I've still got a minor chord if I wanted, but that's a different sound. Kitty hates the minor sound. That's a different sound to like a major chord, which is that sort of sound there. So realistically, the different positions, they just give you different ways to play harmonica. Um, it's a naming terminology thing that we sort of use to quickly tell other harmonica players, hey, yeah, we're playing this one in third position or, or whatever. But realistically, it comes down to listening. So like if you use your chart, doesn't matter what it is. If you know the key of the song, you can pick, you know, which harmonica you need to play along. Something that I sort of do a lot is I just have a few harmonicas in the car and I'll often play along the songs on the radio. And sometimes you'll notice that like you can play along to the song, but it feels like you, know, you sort of don't really know where the notes sort of are or you, you feel like you're in the wrong place on the harmonica. 
generally what happens there is you're playing in a different position than what you used to to play in the key of the song and like you know you might not even sort of notice that you're doing that so hopefully that helps a little bit with positions it was certainly a good question so thanks very much get out there and have some fun i better go see mr cat i'll do that minus he might meow again Let's see what the cat's up to.